Happening now, Wake Forest University volleyball coach Bill Ferguson is due in court in Boston later on as he faces a charge of conspiracy to commit racketeering. He's accused of accepting payment to enroll a non-athlete under false pretenses. So far, 50 people across the country are facing charges, including parents and coaches at other prestigious universities. Mallory Lane is continuing our coverage of this story tonight for us from Wake Forest University's campus. Mallory. Well, Brianna, the university's president is releasing another statement today after he says he's received numerous emails from university community members who are concerned about how this could have happened. There are several questions Dr. Hatch is addressing, including one about the enrollment process and how it differs for student athletes versus non-athlete students. This after Ferguson is accused of an incident in 2017 where he received a $100,000 payment to help a female student who had been waitlisted gain admission to the university, and it's alleged he did so by faking her as a recruit for the women's volleyball team. In a statement, Dr. Hatch says, quote, only students who demonstrate their ability to succeed academically at Wake Forest are admitted. He continues, student athletes and non-athletes complete the standard application and supplemental materials, including essays, a counselor letter of recommendation, high school transcript, teacher letter of recommendation, and class standing. He adds that the admissions office does depend on coaches to evaluate prospective student athletes' abilities. Now, the student who authorities accuse Coach Ferguson of helping is still enrolled at Wake Forest University, but Dr. Hatch says there's no evidence she knew about the financial transaction to ensure her enrollment. University officials say they are continuing to cooperate with this investigation. Reporting live this evening at Wake Forest University, Mallory Lane, WXAI 12 News.